Now let's go over to the next game, still talking about the Euro 2020 qualifiers. It's uh, the game between Romania and uh, Sweden. And expert Aziz will put us through on that one. Uh, these are two teams who are fighting to qualify for the European Championship mm -hmm. uh, in 2020. Uh, this uh, game is a uh, group game in Group K. Uh, group F, I beg your pardon. Uh, of course, they have Spain in their group. This is the same uh, group that has Spain. Spain are true to the uh, uh, championship next year. Mm. Uh, and of course, we are looking at either of these two teams to join Spain as uh, the two teams that qualify from that group. Uh, currently, uh, Sweden are second in that group with 15 points. Uh, in that same group, Poland are third with 14 points. But then Poland need results. Uh, uh, Romania need results to go their way. They need to beat uh, Sweden in this game and hope that, uh, uh, of course, if they beat Sweden in this game, they will have to travel to Madrid against Spain to beat Madrid because uh, Sweden actually have uh, a, 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 an easy-looking game on yeah. paper against Andorra. Of course, we expect uh, Sweden to beat Andorra in the last game. So Poland, uh, uh, Romania, I don't know why I kept saying Poland. <laughs> Poland. Uh, Romania, <laughs> uh, of course, have uh, Sweden to, to battle with in this game. And, of course, they know that if, should they uh, beat uh, uh, Sweden, Sweden in this game, then Spain does not have anything to play for in their last game. They could just rest a whole lot of their big stars and mm -hmm. uh, perhaps perhaps Romania can just have a few days in the office and, uh, and uh, spend their first defeat mm -hmm. at home in uh, just over two years. But then in this game, both teams will be going for this. Uh, Sweden knows actually that uh, should they get a win in this game, uh, regardless of any other result elsewhere, they will qualify they'll for qualify. the next, uh, next uh, summer's uh, championship. Uh, so they will uh, be going gun blazing for this. Both teams knows how to score. Another uh, fact that back up this claim that both, teams, uh, both of these teams know how to score goals is that uh, 11 of uh, Sweden's uh, as, uh, 18 goals. They've scored 18 goals in this uh, uh, qualifier round, okay. 17 for Romania. So both teams know how to score goals. And if you look at these two teams, Romania actually scored 10 of their 17 goals in the second half. Okay. While Sweden scored 11 of their 18 goals in the second half, which means that uh, we, all, we should see action uh, much later in the second half. And that's why we have predicted that both teams will get on the score sheet and at least one goal will be scored in the second, in the second half. half. All right, I'm talking about that one, both teams scoring and uh, one goal to be scored in the second half. We'll see the selections uh, right there and uh, the odds that go with those uh, games so we can actually understand uh, what we are talking about. Uh, so let's see the game between um, Sweden playing away to Romania and talk about the odds that both teams score goals at 1.85. That's a juicy one to actually play. And uh, over, over 0.5 goals to be scored in the second half means that one goal will be scored in the second half. One or more goals will be scored in that one and it goes at 1.27. Juicy odds right there.